Mailchimp landing pages help you grow your audience and promote products and services. Published landing pages are easy to share on the web or in other Mailchimp campaigns, so you can start to drive traffic immediately. If your page is a sign-up form, you can tag anyone that subscribes. So how do you create a landing page? In Mailchimp, click Create from the left-hand side and then select Landing Page. You'll need to give your landing page a name, for example, Test, and you'll need to select an audience. Now, there's only one audience in this campaign, which is venlab.com, so we need to select that, and then we click Begin. Next, you need to choose a template and add your content. Some templates are specifically designed to collect subscribers or promote products, but you can also add a sign-up form content block or product block to any layout. To help you select the right kind of template for your, the campaign you're running, MailChimp has categorized its templates into lead generation, promote products, and grow your list. Think about the objective of your campaign before selecting a template. So if we take, for example, this lead generation template, this template has the message and the email collection box prominently, and then some information about us. On the other hand, a promote products template is focused on driving people to a website to buy products. So this one example here has a prominent buy now button. Now let's look at how you edit your chosen template. We're going to edit a basic template. So we're going to choose this grow your list template and that appears in the designer. In your layer, you can customize or add content blocks as needed. The content blocks are available on the left hand side. So for example, we have text, images, products or promo codes. So if we want to add an image, we'll just drag that in here and we can choose where we want to drag it. Let's put it at the top. We can either select an image which has already been uploaded to MailChimp or we can upload one from a computer. So let's just choose this one here which says Vendlab, that's the name of my company, and then insert. And that is inserted at the top. And then we can do save and close. If we want to add products, we can add a product block here. And if, you create, if you've got a feed of products coming into your MailChimp account, they will appear here. You, in the left hand side here, you can browse the products which you want to add. Let's take a look in more detail at some of the content types available. The top two content blocks we've got here are images and you can change the size of them. And you've also got options for the style, for example, the borders and any kind of shadow and you can choose rounded corners and you can also change alignment and some other settings here under settings. Very important part of your landing page is the sign up box. And if we click this pen icon here, we can change the settings here. We can choose the fields which are collected. So let's just add a few more fields. So example, we're only adding first name and last name. And as you can see, they appear on the page. We finished, we can click save and close. You can add a content block for products that'll show products from your website. If you've integrated a feed with MailChimp, for example, from Shopify. Down here, we've got promo code. If you've integrated with an e-commerce site such as Shopify, then you'll see the promo codes here, which can be added to this box and you can specify the button style and the page that the button will direct you to. Finally, at the bottom are social shares. This enables you to add links to your social media profiles. Each of these different content blocks can be styled. You can define, for example, the background color, any borders, etc. Once you've finished designing your page, click Save and Close. You're then taken to an options page. You can give the page a name, just call it Test Page. Save. We can give the page, we can add a page title and site icon. So let's again, let's call this test page. This is what appears in the browser bar. You can add a custom icon for your landing page. This is the favicon, which will appear in the browser bar here. So the title you, you add here is what will appear in the browser bar and the favicon is the little icon that appears there. Next, you can preview the content that appears when you share your page URL and social posts. So let's just preview that. That's what it's going to look like. That is the URL which you can share. The next section is to set the tags which will be added to any subscribers that sign up through this page. And finally at the bottom, you can edit the design. Before we publish the page, let us just edit the URL. If you have a paid account, you can define your own domain. Alternatively, you can use a MailChimp generated domain and we can edit the last part of the domain. I've just changed it to test. Now, if we save that, it let us just copy that and let's publish this form. And then if we go to that URL, we'll be able to see the landing page. And if we were to enter details here, they would appear in the audience under the tag that we specify. Once you have created your landing pages, you can access them via campaigns, then all campaigns, and you will see a list of your landing pages alongside your other campaigns.